Well, hello there. Another day, another patch. As always, we get 0 0.26.7.2. And there's actually something really good in here. It's the only thing I've read so far. It is this one. Look at this. Improved how the bone spawns to help prevent it spawning in unreachable locations. That is such a big thing. I mean... Honestly, the bone is itself is just like a side objective, but still, getting the bone is really fun. And especially on the larger maps, there are so many places where it can spawn where it's just out of bounds or like you don't even know. You have to search like 30 minutes to not even find it. Uh, and also on the smaller maps in like bed sheets and towels everywhere on the stairs, it can spawn and you just don't find it. So I hope this prevents that. And from now on, finding the bone is just going to be a matter of look in every room and you'll find it instead of like also use the photo cam to take a photo of a blanket to make sure that it's not under the blanket or something dumb. So I really hope that's going to fix that, which is Probably the main thing of this patch, this is a great change. I really love this because this is really annoying, especially if you want to get like the perfect game and you have to also get lucky that the boner doesn't spawn out of bounds. But yeah, that's great. Awesome stuff. Uh, let's read the six fixes we got here. We have Edgefield fix some errors on the second floor truck minimap, including the missing closets. Okay. <laughs> People have been looking uh, at the maps more closely, I see. Yeah, as well as so, Asylum. Uh, fix some missing walls on both truck, uh, both both floor truck minimaps. Okay. Uh, three. Fix a bug where the house radios would stay on when the power is turned off. Okay. <laughs> Didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, fixed a bug where flashlight would still flash during hunts when they were turned off. There's also another bug where if you have a flashlight on the floor and the hunt starts, it starts blinking. And then if you pick it up, you can only have a light. The blinking light only happens if you're holding it like actually in your hand, not in your off hand. You can't toggle your shoulder light when you pick it up during a hunt. That's like a bug that I guess I should report. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, five, Tanglewood fixed a bug where ghost orbs could spawn outside in the living room, boys' bedroom and basement. Wait, fixed a bug where ghost orbs could spawn outside? In the, oh, could spawn outside, comma, in the living room, boys' bedroom, and basement. Okay, so there were three rooms there where the orbs could spawn out of bounds. I think that's what it meant to say. So yeah, that's good. Uh, we were actually, we actually had a game where it seemed to be basement, uh, basement orbs that were out of bounds, uh, but yeah. So we got that. Uh, six, the last one, fix the bug where non-host players could still use objects when the game was loading back to the main menu. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this was a thing. People were like placing, people could do this. Uh, for the hostess was disabled, and I'm usually the host, so I couldn't do this anymore. But I guess also for non-hostess fix. So yeah, uh, main things we got here is the bone, which is actually quite a solid change, in my opinion. Like a quality of life improvement, big time. You can get 30 every game on top of like 40 experience as well. Or um, 30 experience, and on the bigger maps it's even more. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. Um, besides that, a couple minimap changes, uh, flashlight, I hope I, I need to report that, so they fixed that other thing too, where it, uh, doesn't blink, or you can't turn your shoulder light on when you pick a flashlight up during a hunt, but yeah, that's about it, seems like a decent patch, uh, only this, but, I mean, this is a great change, so I like it, uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. And if you want to join the gamers that aren't here because it is uh, midnight and this patch just came out uh, 20 minutes ago, then you can join us over twitch.tv slash insim every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. I will be there and I'll see you there. And I love you guys. Also, if you haven't rejoined the Discord yet, be sure to do that to discord.gg slash insim in your browser and you'll find it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.